Hi, welcome back to Nostalgia 2 by Milden. This is map 23, Never Purify. So I'm pushing through here uh, without firing a shot because this fight I found basically impossible with fast monsters. There's three arachnotrons around the outside and a whole gaggle of revenants spawn in. But by not firing a shot, uh, they don't teleport in uh, immediately. Uh, but it does make the start incredibly difficult trying to maneuver past those those enemies. Um, anyway, now I've got a BFG and a rocket launcher, so things get significantly easier at this bit. Um, just got to clear out all these imps that teleport in, um, and you can at the end of this corridor see all of these revenants that would have been in that courtyard have all followed me over here instead. Um, and it's way easier to take them out here with the BFG than it is to fight them in that, in that courtyard. Uh, so I use three BFG shots here to just clear out as many as I can. I'll get the rest from either the top or after I climb down. Rocket here for these two chain guns and then just sort of nug this Cacodemon before he gets a chance to do anything. Yeah, so here usually one or two revenants are kind of just wandering around still. Um, and then kind of just cleaning up whatever's left. I don't bother taking out the spiders, I just leave them till the very end because um, still got a couple more difficult bits to go, so I don't want to waste time fighting the spiders and then just die in the next the next fight. Uh, jump in here for a secret, and then this fight in here is extremely difficult as well. So as a Cyber Demon, Hell Knights, and Mankey teleport in, uh, and the only way that I could figure to do this is to block the Cyberman's teleport entrance. Um, just long enough to let these other enemies walk forward a bit, because with fast monsters, they're basically, because they start firing immediately, none of the enemies move at all, and from their starting positions, none of them can really hit each other. It's a very close rocket. Um, so the problem I had is that you just end up with these three groups of enemies uh, all shooting at you and none of them infighting at all. Um, and coupled with these like chain gunners up in the windows, it was just another fight that was I was finding basically impossible. Uh, and so I found this strategy of blocking the Cyberdemon's entrance. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes you rush forward and the Cyberdemon teleports in right, either immediately in front of you or immediately behind you and then you're basically dead. Um, it's a bit of a wasted BFG shot back there. Um, I'll just finish him off with uh, Super Shotgun because I want the BFG for later. Um, but this is how this fight normally goes as I get stuck with very, very little health and a couple of enemies still kind of shooting at me. There's a couple of chain gunners still alive. Um, but once the Cyber Demon's down, I can clean these enemies up. Um, I think there's one more chain gunner in the window, which with fast monsters and 7% health is slightly scary. And then you hit the switch and you can just get out. So luckily I left this armor for till the end of the fight. So you have to you have to do this kind of wander around. Um, and also luckily I left behind quite a few medicates so able to heal up a decent amount. So just a couple of Hell Knights behind this door, no big deal. And here's me making the easy part of the level difficult. Um, shouldn't take any damage at all here, so I get hit three times. <laughs> Not even once, down to 4% health. Um, yeah, single BFG for those Kakos there. And downstairs, a couple of arch files have teleported in. And I think you're meant to jump down into the pit, uh, but I prefer this way where you can BFG the enemies from above. You can do this, um, fire the BFG ball on the wall and just hit them all with the traces, which is pretty safe. I think I'm completely out of med kits at this point, so I'm playing a little bit cautiously. Yeah, jumping down was a bit annoying because now I have to loop back around. And got to go deal with those spiders that I left behind. 
So again, just very much trying not to take any damage because I cannot afford it at all. And also got basically no plasma left either. Uh, so there's one enemy left, which is a Mancubus in the exit, and it might be really obvious that I am not wanting to die, <laughs> so playing this super cautiously. Um, but yeah, I think definitely with this this map with fast monsters, I think might be the most difficult of the whole series. Um, but hopefully it was enjoyable, and thanks for watching.